we're gonna press we're gonna pass the programming and today it's conversion of binaries I'm gonna give an example I already wrote this example is 8 to base 10 is equal to I know it's 1 and 3 zeros to base 2 and I'm gonna do this I'm gonna show you a way a technique to convert 8 from base 10 to base 2 it's one of those things you learn from primary school and the like so you convert it to base 2 okay and call, I wanna use blue this is a constant and from 8 and then what we usually write green is a remainder okay um, so it's gonna be like red 2 divided by 8 divided by 2 is 4 divided by 2 again is 2 divided sorry divided by 2 is 4 this is 1 this is 0 I'm doing it because I don't want to change colors so many times it's gonna save time this should be 0 0 Ooh, 0 and then 1 so zeros. just extending a bit and then from this other side I can just come on I can just write 2 so it's like 8 divided by 2 is 4 remainder 0 4 divided by 2 is 2 remainder 0 2 divided by 2 is 1 remainder 0 and then 1 divided by 2 is 0 remainder 1 and now I wanna show you how to compute this to a computer um, I'm gonna use a different color uh brown oh okay i've been just brown or pink i'm gonna use pink uh i'm gonna say this is a constant so i'm just gonna label them like this uh oops so this is a constant and this is x while this is just r i've already written that but i'm just gonna write it again i'm gonna use black now um let's use variables because usually when you program you use variables this is gonna be p p is gonna stand for product oh it's not really product but a quotient or something like that but we're just gonna use p um okay mathematically it's 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 q quotient Q, even though we don't need to write Q there, yeah, this should be X, sorry. This is quotient 1, quotient 2, quotient 3, and quotient 4. I'm going to add quotient 5 as well. It's just 0 and quotient 5. I'm going to explain later. Um, you have, again... Arrow. So we've got our first arrow. R1, R2, R3, and R4. I'm gonna add an extra R5. R5. In case maybe you just want to divide by two, zero divided by two, it's just another zero, and the remainder is still zero. So when you're writing the product of the conversion. You start, you read from the bottom to the top, so it's 0. If I include the 0, it's 0, 1, and 3 zeros. And mathematically, you know that this has no meaning. So it's just this to the, to the binary. And then, it's, our task today is to compute this. Uh, to use a computer to find binaries or things like that and we're just gonna start from variable declaration 
I'm just gonna write a small V, variable deceleration, and X. We're reading X, we have Q. There's a question. So from Q to Q5, Q, Q2, errors, and Q is completely and then These are all integers. Uh, I would like to point out two things. I'm just gonna write them at the bottom. Okay, from this little diagram that we have, so we're only using mode. In case maybe you haven't come across mode and divide. We're not using the slash, we're using divide. Div use slash for real numbers and then divide for integers. So I'll just keep that in mind. So mode, the way you use mode is more like 4 mod 2 is equal to 0. It's equal to 0 because we write the remainders. So 4 divided by, I mean 4, yeah, 4 divided by 2 is equals to a number. And what's the remainder? The remainder is zero. And I'm gonna return to this lesson of mod just shortly. Uh, it's not a lesson of mods. Anyway, and then from here you can detect where the mods are. It is four mod two is zero, two mod two is zero, one mod two is zero, zero mod two. Oh me. Where did I go wrong? I think it's correct and Zero mod. It should be two mod one. Two mod two should be one. I mean one mod two is one. Yeah. So yeah, that's one. Everything is correct, and I'm just gonna draw something to divide this. Um. Yeah. So it can be a little bit clear. I'm gonna use something like blue. And we're just gonna be getting these things from this table. So from this table, and then just trying to compute them. So that we can do it for a number of variables. Uh, first of all, you're gonna read. You're gonna read x. You're gonna read x, and then you begin like. You don't read it. You know, I don't need to declare. 2 as a constant, I'm just gonna repeat in it, and then uh, what I need to do is Q, I'm just copying by the way, Q is meant by, what is Q equal to? Q is just H divide A divide 2, that's what Q is, and then in the comments I'm, I'm gonna be writing answers in the comments, and in the comments, it's equal to 4. That's what Q is. That's what Q is. After Q, you need to write K. K? Sorry. Yeah, um, that's not K, it's R. And then for the R, and what's R? R becomes, R is meant by, it's the answer for mod 2 which is 4 4 which is q mod 2 and we know 4 mod 2 4 mod 2 is equals to 0 this is the arrow that we're talking about right here and this is equal to 2 i'm just going to show you after i'm done repeating this process until q Five and what a variable and error five. Five, so it's they just alternate, so it's Q R Q R Q R. I'll use different colors, you can understand that. So, what is Q2 from this diagram? I mean, from the table, you can tell Q2 this is Q2. Oh, so Q2 is a quotient of four, and in this case, it's for we're represented by Q, so it's Q divided by divided by two. So it's always divide two. I can even write this prior. So divide. So for all questions, we're dividing further by two. So two, and the last one should be div two. 
Uh -huh. um, and then we turn to black. I hope I'm not confusing you. So Q, which is this one, equal to 4. So Q divided by 2. It's going to be 2. It's going to be 2. And then we turn to black. Turn to black. So black is R2. So from R2, we have 2. So which is Q2. Q2, which is right here by the way, Q2 mod, mod 2. And then this mod is not gonna change. We're always comparing to this thing. It's always mod 2, mod 2 until to the end. Until the end, sorry. Uh, so the answer for R2, yeah, for R2 is 0. And it's just gonna be 0. Why did I write here? R1 is 0, sorry. That was a mistake, so it's zero. And then I'm gonna write this down to the end. So it's mod two to the end. Mod two, I don't wanna change colors again. And then mod two. Yeah. And then let's go to blue. And from blue, we know what's Q3? From here, way right here, Q3 is good to 1. So I can even write Q3, I know it should be equal to 1 from the table. Uh, so keep in mind that we're programming something that's not yet, uh, that's, we've already solved for on paper, graphically, and then we've made this table. So Q3 is Q2. Yeah, it should be Q2. Yeah, it should be Q2 divided by 2, which would give you 1. And then you go back to the mod. It should be mod 3. I mean, Q3 mod 2 should be equal to another 0. That's the last 0, by the way. Another 0. So right now you know that you only have 1. And then let's turn to blue. It's Q3 divided, so it's 1 right here, where it's 1 divided by 2. What do you get? It's 0 remainder 1. 0 remainder 1, so this right here, I think we should turn black, and Q4, Q4. What's Q4 is equal to 1. Q4 is equal to 1. I'm not thinking right now. And then, what's Q3? Question 3? R3, sorry, this is R3. I should use blue. Okay, it's 0. Is Q5 and R5 mean? Let's say you have a number like 13, and then you might find that you might exceed the numbers, the number variables that we import. So it's 4. I mean, it's up to 4. So this is where our thing ends, and I included this here. I've already explained why this here is here, and the thing that's gonna write. And right here, even if I write. Is blue. Oh, yeah. Even if I say Q4 divided by this one, it's going to be 0. Q5 more this, it's still going to be 0. And all those zeros are not retained. And guys, that's it. And in the end, you just, let's say the right line is going to come from right here. Right line. Um. So... You want to write line the mods. Yeah, so you're writing down the remainders from R5. So from R5, R5, R4, R3, R2, and R. I didn't include anything like that. And you can write something like base 2.